So we're here for the championships of the Howard, or excuse me, Ken Rummel Wrestling Tournament. This is being live recorded because I lost my data on my hotspot, ran out, and I cannot hook on to the Wi-Fi here at the Howard Gym. Um, I talked to the IT guy, very helpful young man, but uh, just uh, they did some upgrades this year, and and YouTube is blocked for uploading. So we'll get the problem fixed, hopefully next for next year, and things will things will be good. But uh, so. Basically, we're in the championship round. We got Hayden Jorgensen from Webster area going against uh, Mr. Braun, Gavin Braun from Parkston. And uh, Matt one, Matt two is. So apparently we only have one match. So I'm gonna go to one screen. I'm not sure what happened on uh, over there, but they are not wrestling. So again, these two wrestled on Thursday night, I believe, is what I was looking at the results. And uh, you know, Hayden like, he got beat by this young man, I think 13 to one. But uh, again, Hayden's wrestling a lot better today than he, you know, look at that. A minute 35 left in the first period. A sh straight on shot by Gajkowski, excuse me, Gajkowski, Jorgensen. I don't know where I got Gajkowski from. Apologize. Straight on shot, uh, defended out of bounds. Recenter, 122. That was. That was. Tried kind of a little. Both wrestlers being aggressive here. 113 left. Two on one by Braun. In on a single. Jorgensen doing a nice job of fighting that off. And out of bounds. Nice defense by Jorgensen. Fifty seconds left in the first period. Again, another shot by Braun. Jorgensen doing a nice job of fighting it off. Thirty-four seconds left in the first period. Nice double, straight on double. Ron get in there for a single, gets gets the two, puts the legs in right away. He's working the legs. Got a one count. Got a two, three, 14 seconds left. Five seconds left. And time. Five nothing, bronze lead. Jorgensen defers. Bronze taken down. Braun to his feet. Jorgensen two on one. Breaks him down. Try working the monkey tail. Braun stands up again. Hand control and out of bounds. Go back to the center with a minute 43 left in the first period. to his feet again. Jorgensen goes back down to the left leg. Give up a reversal with a cradle. Here 
Brown getting back points and Jorgensen doing a nice job of fighting it off. Jorgensen, or excuse me, Braun, three more back points up 10 to nothing. Fifty seconds left in the second period. And that is a tech fall for Braun over Hayden Jorgensen. So we'll go back to the championship here at uh, 113.
championship match. We got White Anderson from Parkston against Trenton Feldhaus from Howard. Feldhaus trails now five to two. Anderson's on the bottom. Anderson just got done getting an escape uh, takedown and back points in the second period to, to jump out to a 5-2 lead. Feldhaus lets him go. Blood time. Back to the middle. 142 left in the third. Feldhaus in a nice single. Anderson doing a nice job of fighting it off. Gets him, gets him bit over and looks like he's got a cradle on him again. That's what he got, that's what he got him before. Yep, cradle and back points coming. And gets the pin. And Wyatt Anderson from Parker excuse me, Park Stin, champion at 113. Four to 106 pounds. Fourth place, Dave Miller. But, uh, takes and put, uh, so the championship at 120. We have, uh, Jet Breen from Wagner against Brody Dvorak from Tri-Valley and Breen with the quick takedown. Third and fourth place match. We got uh, Carter Summers from Parkston. Lateral drops. Tanner Preamp from, so I was wrong, that was Tanner Preamp from Parker, yep. Carter Summers. You know, I just don't hear Summers from Parker. They use it from Park Sin. So that match is over quickly. Over here on mat one, Breen up 2 nothing, Looking for back points. Got two back points. Looking at uh, the rankings, uh, this Jet Breen is ranked six from uh, Wagner. The double arm bar stack and gets the fall with 38 seconds left in the first period. And that'll set up our 126 pound championship match with Porter Negabauer against Karsten Hamilton from Howard. Hitting on a shot on the left hand side. Flee in the mat, called against Negabar. Headlock attempt by Hamilton. And Negaboro is going to come out of it with a takedown. Over here in the third and fourth place match, we have a 2 0 lead. For, I'm guessing that would be. Dean Hudson L. Dean from Parker against Austin from Mount Vernon Plankington. <laughs> Ch 
championship match. 48 seconds left. Negabar up 2-1. Thirty seconds left in the first period on Matt one. Minute and a half left on Matt two. Yeldeen with the takedown on Matt two. Five seconds left here in Matt one in the championship. Negabar with a two to one lead. <laughs> Caution red. Negabar on the bottom. Twenty-five seconds left on Matt two. Negabar stands up, hits a switch. And he's gonna get the reversal. Four seconds left on Matt two, forty-two. No takedowns. So going into the third period, 4 2. And a pin over on Matt 1. Should go back to two so I can. They want to see the match over there. They can. Eldine on the shot. Trails four to three. Nice job to attack. Minute 20 left. Dean kind of put himself in a tough situation, kind of gave up a tud, sudden cradle cape. I'm not sure if he knows he got taken down or not. He's still holding on to that leg. Three back points for uh, Mount Vernon Plank wrestler. Twelve seconds left. Nine to three. Five seconds left. And that'll end the match. So setting up a championship match, we're going to have uh, Dylan Zell from Kingsbury County against uh, Riley Ginslinger from Howard. Over on the third and fourth place match. We have Andrew Even and Griffin Tobin. Tobin with a quick takedown.
A pin over in the third and fourth place match. Championship match, minute 20 left. With Ginslinger and Zell. Fifty eight seconds left. And wrestlers reset into the middle. Guys looking around a shot. Zell countering. So that was a long wrestler, kind of using his length right now. And they're out of bounds. 22 seconds left. In the first quarter, first period. And that's how the first place match will end is 0 0. Zell defers and Ginslinger chooses down. Nice return by Zell with a half. Tries digging a head in the armpit. And. Out of bounds. Zell got a one count. He's got that arm bar in. Is going to be trying to get Zell high. Oh, I thought Gensinger had him there, but Zell brings it back over, gets the hooks back in him. A minute left in the second period, 0 0. Zell working that legs power half. Stalemate called. Oh, Recenter. I'm going to readjust his headgear. Get set. And get to reversal. A quick reversal. Go up to nothing. Twenty seven seconds left. Kind of does a bow and bow and uh, bow cradle. Might got a might. Third period, two nothing. Genslinger. Genslinger on top, leading two nothing. Minute just underway, went away in the third period.
Working good side to side. Zell trying to go to a tripod. Get out of his base, stand up, and out of bounds. 119 left. Still 2 nothing. Minute left. Ginninger's got his hooks in and Zell's going cross body. Zell trying to get some space there. Thought he had it, but Ginninger's got the bar. Zell's trying to step over. Ginninger's trying to run around. Big step, but he can't get can't, can't, Zell's. <laughs> Fighting hard, and now he gets the count. And there's a pin for Mr. Genslinger. It's so a championship match here. We're going to have uh, Clinkhammer from Howard going against uh, Remmers from Mount, excuse me, Bocook Central Montrose. Hammer in on a Cook Hammer with the takedown on Rimmers. There is a no match on uh, in the third and fourth because of COVID laws. Click Hammer up right now, two nothing. Minute 30 left in the first period. Five seconds left in the first period. Click Hammer with a 2 0 lead over Rimmers. Click Hammer with a big return. Rimmers pops back up. <laughs> 26 seconds left. Click Hammer with a 2 0 lead still. Remmers with kind of a little, uh, what I call it, upset in the semifinals. Beats uh, Low Tech from Wagner by fall. It was the third period, but that was a good win for Mr. Remmers. I want to say two years ago, possibly, Remmers was a 106-pounder for the Fighting Cougars. Now he's up to 30, 138. And that's how the first period's gonna end. With Click Hammer with a 2-0 lead over Remmers. Remmers defers and Click Hammer's going down. <laughs> Click 
Quick air, quick to his feet. Remmers cuts him, so less than five seconds in the second period. Quick air with the escape. left in the second. Kind of a scramble situation with Clint Aaron Rimmers. Both kind of got each other's ankles. <laughs> There's kind of still a lot of good scrambling going on here. No one in true, true control. 40 seconds left. Stalemate. Restart. 3 0. Twenty five seconds left. Shot by Klinghammer. Cross body shot. Remmers battles it off. So Remmers chooses down to start the third period, trailing three to nothing. Nothing an escape and takedown won't uh, take care of. Minute 40 left. Clint Hammer still riding how tough to get that wrist trapped. Kind of pull him around. <laughs> Minute eight, fifteen left. Clint Hammer still riding tough, trying to trying to get that wrist out. And Remmers gets the escape. One to three, minute five left. Click Amber with a shot, Remmers blocks him down. Ooh. Two takedown, and just like that, just like that, three. 3-3, I believe. <laughs> 32 seconds left, 5-3, click hammer. Fifteen left. Remmers in on a shot. Quick hammer. 
take it down in back points with less than 10 seconds left. Wow, what a flurry of last exciting 10 seconds. Jackson Remmer comes to the Howard Tournament and beats the number two kid and the number one kid. What a, what a fun match to watch. We'll go back to two. So we're going uh, 145 pound. We got Matthew Stephenson from Kingsbury County against Porter Jensen from Tri-Valley. So we got, as like I said, in the third and fourth place, we got uh, Drew Gerlach from Mount Vernon Plank, Riley Roberts from Wagner. Stephenson takes a sh shot, comes back to the other side, gets a dump. Got two takedown, looking for back, so we can get it. Stephenson with a 2-0 lead with a minute 15 left in the first. Fifty-eight seconds left. Still up with a two-zero lead for Stephenson. Gerlach's up two-zero over Roberts. Two-one. And then uh, Anderson, no, that's not Anderson. That's uh, Jensen gets a takedown to go up 3-2 with 30 seconds left. <laughs> 20 seconds left here in the first with uh, Stephenson trailing 3-2 over on Matt 2. 2-0 two for Gerlach. Stephenson breaks the cradle, try to get one. He should get one out of that. So it's 3-3. Three, three. We're tied after two. After one, excuse me. 2 nothing over here on Matt 2. Gerlach with the lead. Stephenson's choice after Anderson's defers. He's going down. Stephenson, Stephenson on the bottom, reaches up, gets the waist, gets reversal, go up 5-3. Gerlach looking for the reversal, gets it, goes up 4 nothing. And a reversal again by Anderson, Jensen, excuse me. And <laughs> Stephens are going for the dump to reach for the head. Do that or come out the back door, one of the two. Now he goes up 7 5, split our reversals. So now 7 6. Stephens is ahead.
Starting the third period over in Matt two, it's four to three Gerlach. Thirty-one seconds left in the second period with Stephenson up seven-six. Stephenson tries a high crotch, gets in there, comes around, looking for a cradle. And that's how the second period is going to end, 7-6. So start second, third period, steps it up, 7-6. Jensen's down over here on Matt. Two, it's 4-4. Gerlach's got it, leg up. And... Seven seven. <laughs> Stephenson just kind of muscles him over. Gets the two. Go up nine seven. Out of bounce. Four four over here on Matt two. <laughs> now it's nine eight. Minute and a half left. 22 seconds left on Matt, two, four, four. Two close matches here. Stephenson kind of battling off some shots here. Gerlach and we got Roberts and nothing, nothing. Going overtime. Stephenson in another shot. Minute left. Steps it up. 9 8. Trying to dump again. <laughs> Cover over, over. Cover it. No points have been given yet. Now. Steps it with a, with a takedown. 11 up. 8 is what he's leading right now. Over here on Matt 2, it's 4 4. Overtime. Thirty seconds left here in Matt two. Thirty seconds left on Matt one. Eleven nine. Jensen. So we're tied over here on Matt one. Eleven eleven here on Matt two. Takedown goes to Gerlach. Twenty-four seconds left. It's tie match. Nope. Oh, gets the leg in. Fifteen seconds left. Steps is trying to post that arm. Looks like we're going overtime on that one too. One minute left. One minute, overtime. Steps to take a quick shot. Jensen in on the shot. And we got the takedown. So.
So, setting up for the championship. Championship for uh, 152 pounds. We got uh, Andy Johnson against Lane Miller. Andy coming in uh, senior this year. Lane is a well, is a return is he a not return to state champ, but he was a state champ or runner up here a few years ago. In on a deep single on Andy. Andy does a nice job of fighting it off, trying to get the head in the hole. He does a nice job of fighting that shot off. Some hand fighting. Minute 15 left. And he tries passing it off. Miller goes to the left side this time. Andy got Andy's leg up. Andy kind of gives gives it up, and there's two. That'd been a good place for a Granby right there. And that's how the first period is end. Two nothing. Miller ahead of Johnson. Miller chooses down. We got zero zero over at Matt two. Miller gets to his feet. Johnson tries to turn it in. He does. They didn't do a nice job riding him, trying to keep that leg in. Goes cross body. That would be a probably a potentially dangerous. Miller just reset. Johnson's doing a nice job riding him, trying to keep pressure down. Miller's just trying to build up from the back. I'm saying this is this is a compliment. You know, Andy's just farm boy strong, puts a lot of hard work in at the farm, so he's just got a grip probably. Miller gets an escape though. It's three to three to nothing. Just under a minute left here in the second. And he passes that hay at, out hand. They're trying to take some straight in shots. Need to move him, get some angles. Oh. Looks like he's going to try that little, little dump, but didn't clear his head. Kind of went down. 25 seconds left. Andy's trailing 5 0. Miller trying to dig that dig that arm out, gets it behind Andy's back, and that's how the second period is going to end. Andy's trailing five nothing. Andy's going down. Minute 
You know, the grabs the ankle, break Andy down. Kind of breaking Andy's hip down, getting the arm back behind him. Into there, wrestle with his head on the mat. Minute and a half left. Over here on mat two is three to two. Who's ahead over there? Hendrickson from Tri Valley. Up three two. Forty five seconds. I've just got called for Stalin though. Jack even. Andy's rest with his trailing five nothing right now. Getting rode hard by Miller. Johnson with an escape. Trails 5-1, gets in on that, tries to get in on that. There we go, nice <laughs> scramble there by Andy. Trails 5-3. Now it's 6-3, cut him. Miller shoots in on that right hand leg. Andy sprawled back, but he got it. Twenty seconds left. It's kind of burning time here. Is what's happening for us? There we go. Andy, Andy comes out on it, but gonna run out of time. Came back and battled hard, six to five. Andy takes on the number two kid at one fifty-two. And has a great match. So, going into the championship at 160, we got John Calise from Howard against Noah Mahoney from Parkston. Calise with the takedown. Over on mat two, we have uh, Stapner from Parker against Caleb Pitch from Flandreau. Got an escape by Mahoney. Four nothing, Kalisa ahead. We got two nothing in the consolation match and four one in the championship match with Kalisa over Mahoney. Four two now on the championship match. Starting the second period two nothing. Kind of a 
I'm a, a championship. Who's going to throw who? He, and Mahoney actually kind of at the end got it, but out of bounds. Thirteen seconds left. Period one. Kalise trying to hold on to that leg. Mahoney's just trying to not give up the takedown. That's how the first period's going to end. So Mahoney goes down to start the second. You have four two right now over in the third and fourth place match with Stabner from Park Parkston. No Parker, excuse me. Now what five two. Four two in the championship match, Kalisa over Mahoney. Right in that wrist. Stabner and gets the pin in the third and fourth place match. Feliz puts Mahoney on his back, getting back points. 49 seconds left. Doesn't he have anything yet because uh, he hasn't got rid of it. Thirty seconds. Seven two after the second period. with the reversal and back points coming in the pin. So championship bound is going to be Going to be Bayer from Howard against Grocott of McCook. Third and fourth place match, we have. Uh, Got Kingsbury against Parker. Nice quick takedown by a member of Kingsbury. So if I go to track here possibly again.
0-0 here in the first period of the championship. 4-1. Trying to get names up here, so I apologize. I'll get there. Still 0-0 zero, zero in the championship. So we got uh, Logan Bridges from Parker and Griffin Club from Kingsbury. And in the championship, we have, like I said, Bayer and Grocott. 0-0. Zero, zero. Four-one in the constellation match now. Six-one and zero-zero here in the championship. Twelve seconds left here in the first period. Zero zero still. Club up six to one. That's how the first will end at a tie. Zero zero. Buyers choosing down. Byers with the quick escape. Now it's one to nothing. Jack it up, broke out. And try to throw out of bounds though. Broke out took it, I mean, Byers took a shot, but Grocott reshot. Byers is uh, fed, fending him off. 121 left, one nothing. Over here in the constellation, 6-1, club ahead. Ooh, club getting back points. Byers with a takedown. One second in nine to one here in the third and fourth. Fifty seconds left. Byer heads three zero. In the third period, nine one club ahead. Club gets a reversal, getting back points. Byer twenty eight seconds up, three to one, three to nothing. Excuse me. Club with the pin. Grocott trying to get a reversal. Oh, <laughs> look at that. To reversal, now Byers giving up back points. Grocott's got back points. That's a quite the turnaround. So, going into the third, 4 3, Grocott ahead.
kind of discussing the, how many back points there, but they get two, so Grocott is ahead, four to three, chooses down here to start the third period. So for Grocott, up 6-3 now. Grocott gets called for stalling. Minute nine left. Byers on the bottom. Fifty seconds left. Grocott up. 6-3 So 6 to 3 6 to 4 now 25 seconds left Bayer stands up just tries to headlock not sure he didn't need to quite do that that quick, but so it's eight to four with the Grocott ahead. Looks like Grocott will come out with the win. I believe uh, Mr. Grocott is a freshman too. Played on their football team as well. Yep. So Ty Byer was uh, the second rate kid at 170. Championship match. We're gonna have J Jacob Jacoby Kraus against Nolan Dvorak. I had told you before, Jacoby played on the McCook Central Montrose fighting Cougars, running back. Gets in on a quick shot. Takes Dvorak down. So over here in the third and fourth place match, we have uh, Kingsbury against uh, Tri-Valley. Nate Kirstein's, I believe. Isaiah, Isaac Niles, or so, I believe. Three back points for Jacoby. He takes a 5-0 lead. Minute three left in the first in the championship. 2-1 in the third and fourth place. Kirstein's ahead. Thirty seconds left in the championship. 5-0, Kraus. Three-one over here in the third and fourth. Kirst. I'm gonna say Kirstein's, I believe. 
If Jacoby was, if he was wrestling freestyle, he'd be doing pretty good, but it's not, it's just folk style. No backs. 10 seconds left. Trying back points, just again, just swiped at it a few times. Got a caution on Wagner. Caution on Green that time. <laughs> Team race, we got uh, Howard in first, McCook Central Montrose in second, and Parker third, Parks in fourth. Dvorak working at trying to get that arm out. Five two over here in the constellation match. Kirsten's ahead with three seconds left in the second. Can't really say Krause escaped. I think Dvorak just let him go. What kind of tough young man to ride would be Krause with all those muscles. Minute 12 left. Dvorak, nice little sweep single, but uh, stops and gives Kraus a chance to react. And Dvorak kind of just comes around underneath. 6-2. Kraus trying to lift that leg. And gives up the board gives up the reversal. 8-2. 27 seconds left in the second. Over here on 114 left. 5-3. Kirsten's still ahead. And Kraus gets the fall. Oh Kirsten gets the gets taken down. So, it was 5-5, five, five. now it's 6-5, five. 52 seconds left. Kind of a flurry there. Forty-seven seconds left. Kirsten's ahead, 6-5. 25 seconds left. Niels gets in on a shot, Kirsten's backing off. 10 seconds left now. Kirsten facing. And he's going to come in third. So, championship match. We're going to go with uh, Charlie Austin Hoyen from McCook Central Montrose. 195. Charlie Patton from Parker, ranked number four. Austin Ho Hoyton from McCook Center Montrose, ranked seven.
So we got a young man over here, uh, third and fourth from Hanson. Kind of a throw here by Hoyton, but uh, battling, nothing. Come back to their feet. He tries to throw again. Gonna horse it, possibly. No. Try to throw again, and this time couldn't quite do it. Let's take it down. The young man over here is Anderson against Tuttle, I think, from Hanson. 0-0. Zero, zero. Got 24 seconds left in the first period in the championship, 2-0. Start the second period, third and fourth, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, I like that, you guys see Parkson sitting in the, over in the corner for the Hanson young man, Hanson. So two nothing, Hoyton chooses down. Yeah, nice takedown. Two one over here in the constellation. Two zero over the championship. Two nothing in the championship. Two, three, three over here for third and fourth. So two nothing still in the championship. And Patton trying to rip off the arm. He has Hoyton over here for third and fourth. We got, uh, let me get this right, Tuttle from Hanson. Ahead 4-3, minute 20 left. Five seconds left in the championship, Hoyton still trails. Gonna be two nothing going to the championship, Hoyton. Two nothing in the championship, four three in the constellation. Anderson takes a shot. 
Tuttle tries pushing his head down. 35. And now Tuttle just got dinged for stalling, so now he's tied 4 4. The championship is 2 nothing. Tuttle in on a shot, circling to it. Gets out of it. Oh, ooh, Hoyton. Nice attempt at a takedown, almost got it. Five seconds left. Tuttle in on a shot. Overtime. Patton in for a shot. Comes out. Nothing. No takedown yet. Overtime on Matt. Two. Tuttle takes a shot. Patton gets behind him, but no takedown yet. Tuttle in on the shot. So 4 0 in the championship. 20 seconds left. 4 4 overtime. 35 seconds left. So 14 seconds left, four nothing, Peyton. Tuttle and Anderson, four four, overtime. Anderson in the shot, Tuttle tries to get behind him. And that's a takedown. Overtime win for Anderson. So championship, we got uh, Tri-Valley against Flandreau. Ethan Neelich against Chase Reed. So third and fourth, we got Pranger and Gilligan in a championship, like it says, Neelick and Reed. Both matches 0-0, zero, zero, third and fourth, 0-0, zero, zero, stop end of the first, and 0-0 zero, zero in the championship with 45 seconds left. Both are just kind of feeling each other out, looks like. Reedy on a shot. Dealers did a nice job of blocking it, and nothing.
So we got 0 0 in the championship, starts second. Neelix down, 1 0 Pranger in the second period. One nothing championship, one nothing third and fourth. So the first second period is gonna end one nothing. Pranger ahead in the third and fourth. And right now it's it's one nothing Neelik in the championship. Trying to get some weight on Reed. Gilligan chooses down, or excuse me, neutral. Trails one nothing. Reed pushing in, Neelik trying to push his head down. 25 seconds left. Pranger with the takedown to go up three nothing. Eight seconds left in the second period. Reed trails one nothing, but uh, just got a call, stall call. Reed on the bottom, starting the second period. Gilligan gets the escape to be trailing three to one. One forty-three left. Reed trails one nothing. Four seconds left, and Prager's gonna win three to one. Just about a minute left here in the third period. Reed still trails one nothing. Forty four seconds left. Championship. Reads out the bottom, trails one nothing. Twenty seconds left. Reeds on the bottom. 
trailing one nothing. Reed. And five seconds left. Trailing one nothing. And that's how the match is going to end. One nothing. So going to the championship match, we got uh, Dunk from Parkston against Cass from no. Dunk from Parker against Cass from Mount Vernon and Plank. Rent from Howard against Hull from McCook, Montrose, McCook Central Montrose. Fall over on the champ or the constellation, but looks like young man might have got hurt. I'm not sure what happened there. Two nothing over in the championship match. I'm find out. Names actually. Trying to roll. Oh, got him turned over. Forty seconds left. And fall. For the young man from Mount Vernon Plankington. So that is going to end the house. Ken Rummel Wrestling Tournament. So I appreciate everybody uh, watching this after it's done. But congratulations to all. I believe Howard was the steep champions. Thank you.